Well, now an Eyewitness News Health Watch exclusive. A woman is asked to make an agonizing decision. Let doctors perform an operation that will save her husband's life, but it will also leave him severely disabled. Surgeons saved the man, but tonight both he and his wife tell health reporter Stephanie Stahl it never should have come to that. Chris Mormon has figured out how to use an iPad with his nose. It's just one of many remarkable feats this quadruple amputee manages every day. His arms below the elbow were surgically removed, along with the lower part of both legs. It's been hard for me and my family. Um, it's not an easy thing to live with. A catastrophe that started when 35-year-old Chris, a former Marine, went to the emergency department at Virtua Berlin Hospital back in June of 2010. He was vomiting and had muscle cramps. Chris's wife says doctors initially told her he was dehydrated. Actually, Chris had something much more dangerous, sepsis, a type of blood poisoning caused by an infection. It's incredibly common and it's very costly in terms of the toll that it takes on patients and their family members in the short and long term. Dr. Mark Michelson with Penn Medicine, who was not involved with Chris's case, says sepsis is a growing problem. Up to 30% of patients die. If we don't recognize it and we don't treat it, then that's a story where the body's response can get out of control. With his condition deteriorating fast, Chris was transferred to two other hospitals, but the sepsis continued to spread, causing extensive tissue damage. With Chris in an induced coma, his wife Tina had to make the horrifying decision, amputate or let him die. I was in shock. I mean, I love him, you know, I wasn't about to let him, you know, go. He was 31 at the time. I got through it. I dealt with it. Chris remembers finally waking up and realizing his limbs were gone. It was obviously very heartbreaking because I knew that the life that I'd known up until then was over. There's no excuse. Chris has filed a lawsuit. His attorney, Joe Messa, believes the medical staff at Virtua Berlin should have recognized and treated the signs of sepsis sooner. Chris was breathing fast, had a rapid heartbeat, and low blood pressure. Mr. Mormon sat in the emergency department for 12 hours, essentially receiving no treatment for his condition, which led to this cascade of events resulting in his arms and legs being amputated. In a legal filing, Virtua said in part, the alleged injuries were caused by, but not limited to, pre-existing medical, genetic, and or environmental conditions. When we called the hospital to learn more about its position, we got this response. Virtua is unable to discuss individual treatment for any patient out of respect for patient privacy. I'm angry very angry. I think it could have been prevented. Chris mostly relies on a wheelchair. He's adapting, working through his depression, but still worrying about the future. There's not much of a choice. I can either just cry all day, which isn't going to change anything, or just try to make the most of it. Mm. Now, Chris cannot work anymore. He depends on disability for now and is hoping to get enough money from the lawsuit for the future. Doctors still don't know what caused the sepsis. It may have been an infected cut on Chris's foot. We have a lot more information on sepsis. As you heard the doctor say, it is a growing problem. You can find everything you need to know. CBSPhilly.com, click on health. I have to say, Chris is a remarkable, wow. remarkable man. Well, to overcome something like really that is. is just incredible. Yeah. Sure is. Shocking. Steph, thank you very mm -hmm. much.